so here we go this is the LS3 actually using a lot of LS2 parts in here this is the uh, the dampers in LS2 but this oil pump here this is a melting oil pump and what we're trying to do here is align it to the crankshaft so putting it together is the easy part you just got to put the, the rotor in put these bolts finger tight try to get the alignment correct and how you do align it is with feeler gauges so you gotta break out all the feeler gauges here. This is the ridiculous part. This is how you know if you're hardcore or not. How many feeler gauge sets you got? Well, what it comes down to, in the inside here, manage to get uh, six thou. And then on the outside, between the, the rotor and the oil pump housing, uh, we got uh, three thou measurement. So this pretty much goes in all the way around. I went with four, four around each one on this one. I guess in the book it says three, but whatever. I got the feely gauges, may as well use them. So pretty even all the way around. It looks all right. And now we get to torque it. So 18 foot pounds. Once more, just in case I'm sleeping. And there you go. Properly aligned. And to double check. Nice. And the fatter one. Very nice. Same. Beautiful. Identical. Oh, it's perfect. Very pretty. So there you have it. That's how you align an oil pump on a LS series GM small block.